take you to better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You'll find inspiration. All I'm saying is you can do it. I wanna hear. Thank you very much for joining me today and today I have come on to show you another traveller's notebook and this is a different style one to last week's okay um, this is the one I showed on some Facebook groups and I had some um, requests on how to make a tutorial on this again this is um, my the idea came from live love scrap um, so thank you so much for your tutorial I really appreciate it and um, I've really enjoyed making these so I used fresh fig cardstock and the flourishing phrases stamp set for the background on the card and this floral image here I embossed it with white embossing powder and I just added an embellishment in the center there okay so um, it is closed with a black elastic cord, okay, and it's just a standard size, uh, standard like notebook style, if you know what I mean. But this one has three separate notebooks in, and also um, a sleeve so you could put some pictures in. Sorry about the glare, okay. So I also did this one using Halloween retired paper that you can't get anywhere and also these cobwebs. I've been hoarding this paper for a long time and I just had to make a project with it. So as you can see I've added the boo sentiment on the front here. Then it opens up and this just has four separate notebooks in it. Um, I've not added any photos in there because I'm going to use this one to write all my measurements down for my tutorials. So I just want to say that um, in today's project, uh, with today's project, I will be using the Pop of Pink Designer Series paper, which is a retired paper stack. But I want to try and use up all my retired paper, um, so that's why I'm using it on today's project. But I, I just wanted to be able to bring you the tutorial with you today. Um, so I hope you don't mind me using retired paper. So if okay, you want to get started. To... So you're going to need a piece of patterned paper that measures 8 and 3 eighths by 5 and a half. And along the 8 and 3 eighths side, we're going to score at 3 and 5 eighths of an inch, 4 inches. Four and three eighths of an inch, and four and three quarters of an inch. So this bit here, where we've just done the scoring for this fold, um, these are exactly the same score measurements as um, last week's notebook. Okay, we're just not adding the extra score marks on the end to make the um, flap that comes around the front. Okay, so. That's the scoring done. So now we want to make some holes and also we want to round the corners as well. So I'm just using my corner chomper and I'm using the quarter of an inch side. Okay. I, th I think this might be difficult to see this side. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way. So you'll see these four score lines here. You want to punch your holes in between those score lines, okay? Um, same as last week, you want to measure from the edge of your paper a quarter of an inch up and tick mark it with your pencil, in, okay? And you want to do that on all th these three sections here and at the top and bottom. And then where you did those tick marks, that's where you're going to punch your holes, okay? So I'm just going to eyeball it, okay? So I'm going to try and do this so I can see it. Okay, so like I said, I'm just eyeballing this, but you can use your pencil and ruler to get exact measurements. Okay, turn it round and do the same. Okay, 
We also want to add a hole in the centre of these score lines. So you want to get a ruler and a pencil or a pen and this centre section here, okay, you want to measure two and three quarters from the edge of the paper, okay. So let me see if I can find, make sure that's all central, okay, and just tick mark the two and three quarters with your pen or pencil, okay. Get a piercing tool and pierce the hole where you made that tick mark. Okay, you want to make it quite big because the elastic's going to go through there. Going to go through there. Okay, so now you want to make whatever um, decoration you want to put on the front to go on your elastic. So I have stamped out my initial in Melon Mambo using the Letters for You stamp set and I stamped onto Whisper White using Melon Mambo ink and I think it's Melon Mambo yes Melon Mambo and I cut it out with the large letters foam lace then I stuck it to an oval stitch shape um, that I used with the oval stitched shape uh, no the what's it called uh, let me have a look for my brain's mush. Um, stitched shapes, frameless dies, and I use the oval ones. Okay, sorry, I'm a bit all over the place today. My daughter Neve was sick all night last night, so I was up all night with her, and yeah, we're just keeping all our fingers and toes crossed that none of us all get it either because it's just going to be <laughs> a nightmare. So I'm a bit kind of <coughs> not with it. So, you now want to run these both pieces through your laminate machine and you want the laminating pouches I get are A4 from Wilkinson's. Yeah, so I got these from Wilkinson's, okay. And the laminate machine I actually got from Boys as well, but you can also purchase them from Wilkinson's. So, I'm going to place these two inside the pouch. And you want to leave enough space all the way around the um, cover and also your label. Um, I think last week's I did about one eighth of an inch all the way around, but I'm doing I'm going to do a quarter of an inch this time. So I'm going to wait for my laminate to warm up and then we're going to run that through the laminate machine and then we'll carry on. Okay, so that's being put through the laminate now, and so has that. You want to repunch your holes, okay, and also round the corners okay, as well. So you want some elastic, and it's going to be the same as last time, okay, and you're going to, it's going to come from the back to the inside, okay, and thread that to the opposite side. So it looks like that. Come back through the centre hole. Okay. And go back through this hole. So now you should have two loops that looks like this. Then you're going to make sure that you've pulled enough through. Come back through this hole. and then go back through this hole. Okay, so that's what they should look like. And you want to make them not too tight, but not too loose as well. Okay, so when you turn it over like this, you want to get one end and thread that back through the center, like so, so it looks like that. And also on this side, as well. So it looks like that on the outside and then you should have two loose pieces on the inside centre. Okay, so now you're going to tie these two pieces together 
and just tying up and this will make your fourth um, loop or string uh, not string um, binding that's what I was looking for for your notebooks so we're just going to tie a knot okay and then put off the excess so that is your binding now we want to add the pocket for your paper okay so this is if you do pocket letters then you'll know this is um, what we use for pocket letters they're actually called trading card pouches or something like that and you get a4 um, sheets and I think you get three six seven nine pouches okay so I've cut it in I've cut it so there's four pockets and you want to make sure that when you trim it you want to trim past the part that is sealed okay because otherwise you'll end up with the open an opening like that okay so we have two openings here for photos and two openings here for photos okay so you also want to line this center part here so you see this seam here you want to line that up with the two centre holes and that centre hole that we made here. You want to get your piercing tool, tool pierce a hole in the centre of your pouch and also on either side. Okay, So then you should have three holes that are in the centre where that um, seal is. Okay, So now you want to get some more elastic close your book up okay and you want to wrap some elastic around your book make sure that you've made uh, you know left some for um, enough so when you put your notebooks in it's going to be able to still expand so you just wrap some elastic around okay and tie a knot then we're going to peel that off and we're going to come to the pouch you want to get the loop, so have the knot at the bottom and the loop at the top, get your piercing tool and thread that through your centre hole. Okay, so it may be a bit tricky. Oh, that went through, okay. So then the knot is on the inside, like that. Then you're going to get the loop again and thread it through this centre hole here. Okay, so again, if you uh, get your piercing tool and thread that through and pull it, okay, and then that will keep that centre part of your pockets in place. And then this loop here will be what closes your book together, okay? But we need to add two extra pieces of elastic on the ends of these holes here so then this doesn't slide about okay so again you need to make a loop I'll do one with you and then we do the other one off camera again thread that loop through both holes okay so if I can grab hold of it Okay, thread that through and you want to make sure that you thread enough so because we're going to cut this loop and you're going to have two ends where you're going to tie a knot on the inside and a knot on the outside so you need to make sure that you've got enough elastic sorry my camera cut out so like I said you thread the loop through there and then you will cut that loop and you will tie a knot on the outside and tie a knot on the inside Okay, so then that will be those two sections attached. So you need to do exactly the same for the bottom here. Okay, so I will do that with you just because my camera cut out. So again, make a loop and thread it through the hole on the pocket. Okay. 
okay pull enough through to make a knot thread it through that centre hole if you want to you can use your piercing tool to thread that through okay pull them tie a knot on the inside and make a double knot like so then cut that one so then that's the inside done and you just pull it okay and then that's the inside done turn it over come to the back cut that loop in half and then tie that in a knot as well and I tied it three times just to make sure that it didn't come back through the hole so one two three okay and then just trim them like so and then that is your photo pocket added so now we need to add the notebooks so these are the same measurements as last week's okay and the copy paper you need four sheets or if you want more then you can do that they measure they measure I've lost the measurement um, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter and you'll fold that in half then you'll get a piece of the pattern paper to make as your notebook cover and this piece measures five and a quarter by seven and three eighths score that in half or just fold that in half and then that will be your notebook okay you want to do that four times okay so you have four separate notebooks Bring your cover back and just add these again. If you want to, you could sew the middle if you wish, but I'm not going to. So you're just going to get one of these loops and thread that through. So then the elastic goes to the middle of your notebook. So that's one. Find your second loop. and the last one I added I only added three notebooks but I'm going to add four to this one so okay and then that will be your pocket for your photos and then add your fourth one okay and there we go so that's one notebook Two notebook, three notebook, pockets for your photos, and then your fourth notebook. Okay, so the photos measure. So I've just took two out here. Okay, and they they measure three and a half by so three and a half by two and five eighths. Okay, and then obviously you want two pictures back to back, and put them into your pockets like so okay so to add the initial on the front okay I will get a button um, because that's what I've been adding it with to the others so I'm just going to get a button and some thread What's and then a we'll button? okay and I've threaded some baker's twine or if you've got some thread through both holes okay and we're going to tie this button around this elastic okay so just going to tie that on like so and then just make a couple knots underneath just to secure that button okay and 
then we're going to trim that. And last week I did add hot glue to the button and then attached my, um, you know, my sentiment. <laughs> Can't get my words out. But this time I'm just going to add glue dots to the back. Um, so I'm just going to add a couple of glue dots in the centre just for quickness of the video but I would recommend using some hot glue or strong adhesive okay so you want to press that down okay and like I said the better to use hot glue okay so there we go so this is a different style notebook with four notebooks in this one and also a section for some photos so please head over to my blog for more details of this project um, and also I'll leave the link below which will take you to my Stampin' Up! online store uh, where you can go and check out all the amazing Stampin' Up! products. Okay, so here are the three notebooks that I made in this style. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and will join me on Monday for another tutorial and take care everyone and I will see you soon.